Malaysia is experienced in handling foreign investments. Malaysia is slotted to achieve the developed country status. Do we have enough resources to sustain the same development for the future? Malaysia, a country on the move. From an economy once dependent on agriculture and primary commodities, Malaysia has today become an export-driven economy spurred on by high technology and industries both knowledge-based and capital-intensive. Supported by a market-oriented economy and pro-business government policies, Malaysia offers investors a dynamic and vibrant business environment with the ideal prerequisites for growth and profits. Malaysia is strategically located in the heart of Southeast Asia. Its closest neighbors are Thailand and Singapore in West Malaysia and Brunei and Indonesia in East Malaysia. The capital city is Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia's success as an Asian economy was due in part to the visionary policies of Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, Malaysia's Prime Minister from 1981 until 2003. Known as the father of modern Malaysia, Tun Mahathir is the most dominant figure in Malaysian politics since its independence. People are very curious about Malaysia. How is it that a multiracial country multi-religious country, which normally would be uh, um, experiencing conflicts all the time, have remained stable and have been able to develop much faster than uh, most other newly independent countries. What, uh, what are the things that it has done which has contributed towards this? Tun Mahathir's protectionist tactics during the Asian financial crisis of 1997 that were considered so controversial at the time, have now acted as a model for countries all over the world in the current economic crisis. Under Tun Mahathir, industrialization changed the landscape of the country. Manufacturing eclipsed agriculture and economic output, and huge prestige projects like the Petronas Towers and Kuala Lumpur International Airport were completed. Malaysia has always been a very stable country politically. It has done relatively well in running its uh, finances and its economy. And it has always been very friendly towards uh, foreign and local businessmen and towards uh, the aspirations of other countries. And the government is accessible to uh, foreign investors. The ministers are always available and all these things contribute towards the, uh, the good uh, investments uh, that Malaysia has received from foreign investors. Malaysia aims to become a developed country by 2020, and progress is clearly being made. Economic growth is steady. Islamic fundamentalism is held in check. Corruption is far less than in many Asian states and race relations are generally harmonious. 2020 is a year in which Malaysia is slotted to achieve the developed uh, country status. We will have to uh, coordinate uh, with the other uh, ministries, with the other agencies of the government, so that we can um, uh, achieve this uh, total status. But um, I must hesitate to also mention that all these depend on whether we can make the investment climate in this country uh, attractive enough. All this is a total package uh, and, and we will have to create that, that uh, total package for, for us to achieve uh, more foreign indirect investment 
and therefore uh, with it the uh, 2020 status. It's important to know that Malaysia is not anymore an emerging country. It's a country moving quite fast towards a developing status. It means that uh, basically you move from commodity driven offers to innovative offers with added value and services. It means that when it comes to introduce new technologies, new business related to the green, to the environmental friendliness, it's the perfect place to do so. Part of Malaysia's Vision 2020 strategy includes focusing on sustainability and green technology. The Ministry of Energy, Green Technology and Water is the key coordinator and facilitator for the Green Technology Roadmap and has already taken a lead in going green. As far as Malaysia is concerned, uh, the Prime Minister has looked at this um, green technology area as a growth uh, uh, situation, as a growth path for the economy into the future. So in that sense, uh, it is important for Malaysian economy and hopefully, of course, uh, when we are able to produce the green products, we'll be able to export it to other parts of uh, Asia and maybe further beyond. The Malaysian government has allocated billions towards companies that have enacted green technologies and environmentally sustainable initiatives. Thus far, the government is sending out preliminary signals that incentives will be the way to go to promote the national green agenda. The Malaysian government is pushing hard to promote environmental uh, offers and to develop green uh, content. We have interesting tax incentives. We have a, a, a reference system, the Green Building Index. It means that if you comply with the Green Building Index references, you can get access to very interesting subsidies. So it means that when it comes to the green technologies, to the green offers, all the key actors of the market has to play a role. Quality that is proven today. Quality that will build our futures. Munir is a roofing solutions provider, the number one in Asia and in Malaysia. We are a global leader in providing energy efficient roofing solutions and a pioneer in green technology. Our cool roof and solar roof technologies are both energy and cost efficient, with a good return on investment and a strong contribution towards the environment. Improving the way you live. Munir, Beyond Roofs. Welcome to your five-star stay in the heart of the city. Whatever your needs, our friendly and efficient associates will be delighted to meet them. Well-designed guest rooms and suites offer you an unforgettable stay, styled with elegant sophistication and enhanced with the residential comforts of home. Amenity-laden to accommodate the needs of both the business and leisure traveler. Elegant facilities are a wonderful setting for your meetings. When business is done, unwind at one of our entertainment spots. For your dining pleasure, we have some of the most exclusive restaurants and a world of luxury shopping at Star Hill Gallery. JW Marriott Hotel Kuala Lumpur, the social center of the city. Here at University Science Malaysia, a 21st century institution of higher learning, we are redefining world-class education in the country. Our programs are specially designed to ensure that students develop the necessary skills and knowledge to enhance their future careers while contributing positively to the society and aiding national development. We also boast an internationally acclaimed reputation for the nurturing of talent and research excellence. We are proud to be the only university in Malaysia to be awarded the APEX status in recognition of our dedication to world-class standards for excellence. Our vision is of a sustainable tomorrow with emphasis on values of affordability and quality. We embrace the protection of the ecosystem as well as the conservation and protection of resources. Come be a part of us. University Science Malaysia. 
transforming higher education for a sustainable tomorrow. The higher education sector in Malaysia is under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Higher Education and has always enjoyed the highest national development budget. This symbolizes the commitment of the Malaysian government towards education. Higher education has grown tremendously during the past decade and Malaysia is fast becoming a center of educational excellence in the region. Besides the relatively low cost of education, many choose to study here because Malaysia is an ideal gateway to develop Asian networks and relationships. They are also able to learn from Malaysia's great diversity and rapid economic development. Malaysia is a pioneer in private tertiary education. So in some respects, we are world class in being very innovative in creating the appropriate models for teaching graduate students, undergraduates, and those who need competency skills. And that's why Malaysia is now the hub for 100 over 1,000 students from different parts of the world. Higher education institutions in Malaysia are aware of challenging global issues and want to produce students that make a lasting difference at all levels. Sustainability is now a focal platform to create a new future. In other words, we need to start learning how to conserve, how to preserve, how to recover, how to recycle, so that we can sustain the kind of a development that we've got for generations to come. Right? And where, where higher education comes in, because these have not been factored in higher education. We teach our students thus far as though there are no limits to resources. If you want to do things, go ahead, do whatever it is. But the question has not been asked, where do this lead us to eventually? If you want to change this, then I think we need to reconceptualize again what education is all about and factor in yeah, the reality check that this is not going to go on forever, that when you do something, you need to ask back whether this will be sustainable in that particular context. The starting point is to integrate sustainable development into the educational system so that the future generations can be nurtured and imbued with the need to embrace ecological protection, conservation of resources, and human development based on the virtues of equity, accessibility, and quality. Is learning about having or is learning about being? Thus far, again, I think learning is just about being accumulating wealth, developing wealth, not distribution of, no distribution of wealth. And therefore, I think the focus will be very much on individuals rather than community, rather than the global sort of sense. Yeah? Uh, this is where we actually start by asking ourselves, when we have education, how do others start to benefit from education? What sort of social engagement do you have with people around you so that this value of sustainability could be implemented. The education strategies for sustainable development in the new century call for a total commitment from all Malaysians under the One Malaysia Agenda, with a sense of urgency in the face of increasing competition. Education development plays an ever important role in building a sustainable, resilient and competitive society. Malaysia is ready to face these challenges in this new century in the field of education, both internally and externally, with the advent of globalization, trade liberalization, and the development of ICT. Help 
University College, the University of Achievers. For different perspectives and creative solutions, meet in Sarawak, Malaysian Borneo, a land where tribal wisdom still has a place in this modern world. Meet in one of the world's oldest rainforests, where world heritage sites coexist with the latest business meetings technology. Think conventions, think Sarawak. Recharge in a new world, the Sarawak Convention Bureau. At the frontier of world-class education. Transforming higher education for a sustainable tomorrow. University Science Malaysia. Located in Penang, University Science Malaysia has garnered an internationally acclaimed reputation in providing a conducive platform for the nurturing of talent and research excellence. Our postgraduate and undergraduate programs are tailored specifically to ensure that students acquire the necessary skills and knowledge to contribute positively to society and national development. USM sets its vision of a sustainable tomorrow while keenly promoting values of affordability and quality. USM also embraces the protection of the ecosystem, as well as the development of human and intellectual capital. USM's main campus has been claimed one of the most beautiful in Malaysia. Experience the University in the Garden. University Science Malaysia. Redefining world-class education. Luxurious, opulent and elegant, the Shangri-La Hotel Kuala Lumpur is the perfect venue for business and leisure. From warm and personalized Asian hospitality to world-class facilities, your stay will be grand. We have spacious and luxurious suites, offering panoramic views and a host of stunning amenities. With a profusion of gastronomic delights at our award-winning restaurants, your stay will be a most unique experience. The Shangri-La Hotel, Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia, truly Asia, captures and defines the essence of the country's unique diversity. It sums up the distinctiveness and allure of Malaysia that makes it an exceptional tourist destination. Malaysia is a welcome assault on the senses, a testament to its strong historical influences. The government of Malaysia is focusing more than ever on its tourism industry, which could soon become the nation's number one source of foreign exchange. The bustling capital city of Kuala Lumpur. This is the youngest of Southeast Asia's capitals and is reflected in its metropolis dedicated both to multiculturalism and capitalism. Over the last few years, the number of expatriates living in Malaysia have increased. Malaysia is a fantastic place to live. The infrastructure here is great. Of course, English is very, very widely spoken, so that makes life a lot easier too. Um, there's no doubt at all that uh, expatriates are also welcome here, welcome with open arms to come and live here. It's not a very expensive place to live. The food quality here is fantastic and easy to get about. It's really not very far from any of the other major cities or hubs in, in, in Asia. Um, it's a very, very safe country. Uh, the people here are friendly and very, very politically stable. Uh, there's also a good banking system and a fine situation here where people can come and quite openly invest in money. Foreigners are welcome here and there is a very large amount of uh, foreign expatriate uh, people who actually live here as Malaysia my second home, which goes to prove this is a fantastic place to come and work and to live. I love it. Uh, when I came here first, uh, I came here, I thought I'll do my 18 months and then 
look forward to new country, new city. Now I've been here four years and I just signed two more years. I love it. My family love it here. We, 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 we love the people, love the food, love the environment. Uh, I'm enjoying myself, you know. Uh, experience something uh, really coming from the state. Uh, I will never dream to be in a city and a country uh, to have different culture like Malaysia. Uh, I find, find everything I want. 600 kilometers across the South China Sea from Kuala Lumpur and the Asian mainland is the East Malaysian state of Sarawak. A more different place to peninsular Malaysia is hard to imagine. Sarawak is, um, I believe, about 95% of the land mass of Peninsular Malaysia with about 10% of the population. So we have a lot of, a lot of space uh, with many different and diverse uh, communities that live here, uh, different cultures, which creates a very rich uh, environment for any traveler to come into to experience, both as a tourist or as a uh, corporate client because they've got corporate or business interests uh, within, within the state of Sarawak. Sarawak's capital and most populous city is Kuching. The city has grown rapidly and is now home to some world-class hotels and conference facilities. Many international companies are now considering Sarawak as a more interesting destination compared to Hong Kong or Singapore for their business meetings and conventions. We have all the right ingredients. A brand new state-of-the-art convention centre, a strong supportive government that will provide funding support, great hotels and meeting facilities, and of course that's all backed up by our fantastic ecotourism products. Sarawak and Borneo is um, synonymous with, uh, with nature, uh, whether it be the, the jungles, or whether it be the orangutan. Um, and of course, these are opportunities that attendees will be able to uh, participate in and enjoy uh, and meet or experience. Sarawak is a good example to the rest of Asia for sustainable tourism. Sarawak's indigenous peoples have for centuries lived in multi-doored longhouses, visits to which are among the highlight of many travelers' trips to Sarawak. Responsible tour operators in Sarawak bring back to the communities by paying certain longhouses an annual stipend in exchange for bringing in visitors, both Malay and foreign, sums which pay for structural renovations, medical expenses, and travel and education costs for longhouse children. It is an unforgettable and life-changing experience. When you visit a longhouse, you really get a sense of the people of Sarawak. And there are so many lessons that we can learn from their simple but very communal existence. Longhouse communities, there may be 20 or 30 families who come together and their whole life is based around their community. And I think we've got a lot of lessons to learn from that, their simple, humble beginnings. And these people may have traveled for hours to get to school and an education, and yet you see them now out there doing incredibly successful things in the business world. And it is a humbling experience. Thanks to a world-class infrastructure, visitors can easily access the best of the country in short and convenient travel times. Here are the top five most popular destinations throughout Malaysia. At number five is the capital city of Kuala Lumpur. A stay of a few days is enough to appreciate the best of KL's attractions. The UNESCO World Heritage City of Malacca makes it to number four. From the golden age of the Muslim Malacca Sultanate to subsequent European colonial invasions, let the story of modern Malaysia unfold for you here. Pulau Langkawi, which makes it to number three on our list, is Malaysia's premier island retreat and has seen unparalleled development due to its duty-free status and popularity with sun seekers. 
At number two is the UNESCO World Heritage City of Georgetown in the island of Penang. Malaysia's most fascinating city retains more of its cultural history than virtually anywhere else in the country. And what tops the list? The lush, tropical island of Borneo with its blend of tribal tradition and unfettered nature. It is still possible to find untouched corners of wilderness and jungle forgotten by the onslaught of modernization. This is Malaysia at its most magical. Every nation has a bright future if it harnesses all its resources towards economic, social and political success in line with global trends. When its leaders have a clear mission and vision, and racial and religious harmony and economic viability are a constant, and sustainability becomes a reality. By this definition, Malaysia is a success story. Selamat datang ke Malaysia. Welcome to Malaysia. Malaysia is blessed with a strategic location. In the middle of the ASEAN countries, India, China, it's definitely a strategic place. If you combine it with the quality of the people, with the expertise of the people, the infrastructure, both for industrial and commercial, with the diversity of cultures, and then you have really the perfect app for the region.